Along Milltown Drive in Ellicott City, you'll find a 46,000 square foot building dedicated to serving the community. Only fitting that it's named after a man who spent a lifetime dedicated to serving his community. It's a community person, do anything for the community, um, not wanting any recognition. You know, it was just his character and his spirit to help other people. Joan Carter Smith is Roger Carter's great niece. She's made it her mission to share her uncle Roger's life story to keep his legacy as a community leader alive. I get a sense of um, pride, you know, to know that my uncle has been recognized in that capacity, you know, because it's not many um, black men in Howard County that have that opportunity. But Roger Carter's story did not start with opportunity. He was born in 1916 in Guilford, grew up during segregation, where the path to education did not come easy. He would have to get up at six o'clock in the morning and hitchhike to Prince George's County. Um, he would have to, you know, go through dangerous woods. Sometimes he would have to ride on, you know, the bumpers of cars um, back in the day just to get to school by nine o'clock in Prince George's County. He had to do that because there was no transportation for black people in Howard County. So Carter decided to change that. He graduated from high school in 1934, opened an auto repair shop in Ellicott City, then started Carter Bus Company in the late 1940s. It was the first black owned transportation business in Howard County. His wife, Agnes, was his first driver. Together, they provided transportation for African Americans in their community. Well, I think they, the community really appreciated that because they needed it, you know, because, you know, they, they had no transportation. Jones still holds on to things like the receipts and the bus rules from Carter's bus service. And though the business closed in the 90s, Jones says the impact of Carter's bus service and all of Roger Carter's accomplishments still live on. He proved that if you have a dream and you work hard, you can you can succeed, you know, and and make a difference in this world for everyone. Carter did not just do that through his bus company. He was also the first black member of the Ellicott City Rotary Club and the first black citizen appointed to the Howard County Planning Board. He received the Civic Leader of the Year Award from the Howard County Chamber of Commerce in 1978. His list of awards and honors goes on and on. But when you see Roger Carter's name on the front of this building, when you see his picture hanging in the lobby, Joan Carter Smith does not just want you to remember what her uncle Roger did. She also wants you to learn from who he was. I want them to, when they look at his picture, and just see how much love that he had for the human race. It didn't matter what color, you know, what creed, you know, what job you had. Everyone was very important to Uncle Roger. It didn't matter. Such a proud moment. <laughs> I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News. Yeah, quite the legacy right now. You can find this story and others in the Baltimore, excuse me, the Black History Month page on WBALTV.com. We'll post links to every story that you see on air this month right here.